Good morning, fifth grade. I'm coming at you from a brand new mystery classroom. Um, just trying to give you guys a little bit of a tour throughout this school, um, let you guys get a peek into all of the classrooms that you know and love, and let you know that we all miss you, even, um, even if we can't see you every day. So we're going to go ahead and jump into lesson 31, which is all about comparing with adjectives. So go ahead and find that it's on page 140. Lesson 31, comparing with adjectives, page 140. As I read, go ahead and just give yourself, give me some thumbs up, give some snaps. If as you're reading, you hear something that you recognize that makes sense to you or that we've learned already. An adjective has different forms for comparing. Now, what was an adjective again? Somebody help me out. What was an adjective again? An adjective is a word that describes another word. If you need a little bit of help remembering some of those, adjectives is on page 132, lesson 29. So with those pieces of information in mind, an adjective has different forms for comparing. Use either er or more to compare to people, places, things, or ideas. Use either EST or most to compare more than two. So that's three, four, five, anything that's more than two. One syllable adjectives and some two syllable adjectives add ER or EST. For example, Asian elephants are smaller than African elephants. It's one syllable, we're comparing two kinds of elephants, we add the ER. Of all land mammals, elephants are the heaviest. So we've got all land mammals, which is definitely more than just two, which is the question we need to ask ourselves, how many? And then we're looking at heavy, which has two syllables, but is one of those special cases. So we add the EST at the end. So we've look, we're looking at more than two, lots and lots of different land mammals. And of them, the elephants are the heaviest. Always use more and most to compare adjectives with three or more syllables. So here we're asking ourselves, how many things are we comparing? How many syllables does the adjective have? Elephants are more intelligent than giraffes. We've got elephants and giraffes, two things. Intelligent has four syllables, so we're adding more to the beginning. Elephants are more intelligent than giraffes. Elephants are the most enormous land animals. So again, we're looking at all of the different kinds of land animals, which is definitely more than two. Elephants are the most enormous, enormous, three syllables. We're doing a lot of counting in this lesson, so just try and keep up because I know I'm going a little fast, but if you feel like you get stuck at some point, just hit pause, maybe rewind, maybe go back and look really closely at each of these little bullet points, and they're going to help guide you. When you add ER or EST to an adjective, the spelling may change. And there's a few examples in that chart. I'm not gonna go through every single one, um, but if you want to read it out loud to yourself, that's gonna help you really practice getting some of that uh, into your practice. Do not use ER or EST together with more and most. You just use one depending on how many you have or how many syllables the word is. Don't use the two of them together. So you would not say an African elephant's ears are more larger than an Asian elephant's. Sometimes that's just how it's gonna come out when you speak it. And again, we talk about this often, that's okay. But when you write it, you need to make sure that you're being careful to use the correct version, more or ER, you're only using one. So the correct written version would be, an African elephant's ears are larger than an Asian elephant's. Just we're comparing two different kinds of elephants. Large only has one syllable, so you use ER at the end. So what you're going to do today is you're going to complete practice A and B, which should be nice and quick, but some of them might feel a little bit tricky to you, and that's okay. So here we are in practice A. In column A, Write the form of the adjective that compares two items. 
In column B, write the form of the adjective that compares three items. So number one, we're looking at dry. And in column A, for dry, we want to compare two items. So should I use ER or should I use EST? ER or EST? Raise the hand, ER or EST, that you think is gonna be right. If you guessed ER, you were absolutely correct because we're only comparing two items. Now here is the trick. Dry is one of those special cases. Adjectives ending in a consonant and Y. So instead of dryer, D-R-Y-E-R, -E we change the Y to an I. D-R-I-E-R. -E so the, I don't really know where you would use this word. Today is drier than yesterday. D-R-I-E-R, -E dryer. Two things, E-R. Let's look at number three. We're gonna skip over there because that's in column B, which means we're comparing three or more. Beautiful. We wanna compare three or more. So are we gonna use most EST? Are we gonna use ER more? Most EST, ER more. Most EST, ER more. If you guessed most EST, you are absolutely correct. And how do we know which one to use? We look at how many syllables the adjective has. Beautiful. That's three. We're definitely going to use most. Most beautiful. Again, there are lots of different steps and there are lots of different tricks. So it's okay if you're going through and there are a couple that you need to leave blank because you just don't quite get it. I'm going to put up another video today that gives you the answers, and I'm going to walk through each one of them. You're also going to try practice B, write the form of the adjective in parentheses that correctly completes each sentence. So again, you're asking yourself two questions. How many things am I comparing? Two or more than two. Anything more than two. Three, four, a bajillion. Anything more than two. And how many syllables does that word have? For each of those questions, go back to the answers you see on page 140. For example, number one, practice B. Elephants are the blank animals on earth. We need to fit in a form of the word strong. We've got strong is one syllable, so I know we're looking for E-R or E-S-T. And we've got all the animals on earth we're comparing to find that elephants are the strongest. I gave it away a little bit because we've got all the animals on earth. That's more than two for sure. Strong is only one syllable, so we know it's strongest. Keep practicing this. Again, there's going to be another video soon that explains all of these answers and gets you ready to complete practice C and D, hopefully also today. I know you guys have got it. I'm so proud of you already, and I miss you a lot. Have a great day and good luck.